Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll show you how we can do multi-window handling and this time I'm going to cover how we can switch between multiple tabs. Previously, we have seen how we can switch between the multiple browsers, but this time how we can switch between multiple tabs. For that, I'm going to take an example of the website, which is robotframework.org. I'm going to come on this website and here you'll get a link like let me show you like this. So here we have a link. As I click on this, a new tab gets open. So now I want to click on this and new tab will open. And then I'll show you how we can switch between these two tabs. So first of all, I'll just copy this. I'll just copy this and now I'm removing all these steps so that's my first URL and as of now I just want to go for the one URL only okay you will open that URL on the Chrome and maximize after that I want to click on this link so I'll just try to locate that so a with some text okay so I'll say click element click element where a text is equal to this so now I want to click on this okay once it is clicked it will open multiple tabs now here I want to switch between the multiple tabs and want to perform tasks. Now, when we work on the multiple tabs, we can switch between the different tabs by using their title or by using URL. So I'm going to use by the title. Okay, how we can switch? So I'm saying select window. So we have a keyword with the name select window. On which window you want to switch? So I'm just coming here. And if you check it, that's my first window. I'm finding out the title of it. If you check it, the title is here, Robot Framework. So first of all, I want to switch on this window. Again, after switching, I'll fetch URL 1. I'll fetch its URL. Get location. Now printing it. In the same way, now I want to switch to the second window. And in the second window, what is my title so let me show you so we can switch between multiple tabs by using title or url so as of now i'm using title so here the title is robot framework rpa and after switching I want to fetch it URL and print it. So we are fetching URL just to check are we able to switch to the different tabs or not? Because if it is switch, so it will fetch a different URL and print it. So now we are navigating to the different tabs and picking the URL of the particular tab and print it. So browser started maximized now it's click and now two different tabs are there and once it is done I'm just checking here it is printing two different URLs so means we are able to successfully switch between multiple tabs using its title in the same way as we are using title over here you can use URL as well so we can switch between the multiple tabs either by title or URL so that is one way. So he, here we have seen, we have switched to the multiple tabs by using title and URL. Now, we have one more way by which we can switch between the multiple tabs. Let me show you, I'm just removing this code as of now. As of now, we have two tabs which are open, but it might be possible their URL is dynamic. As of now, we are using di URL or title so it might be possible we can have dynamic URL and title
So in that case, every time URL and title is going to be changed. So we will not be able to use title or URL over here. Then how we can switch? Now, in that case, for switching between the multiple tabs, we can use window handler. Now, what do you mean by the window handler? So whatever the tabs will be opened in the robot framework by the scripting, for each tab, it is going to assign a unique value. And that unique value is called window handler. So we can find out unique value of all these tabs. And by using that unique value, I can switch between the multi multiple tabs. So how we can do that? So first of all, I'm just using a list. So I'm saying, okay, list one. And here, get window handles. So this keyword is going to fetch unique value of all the tabs and going to store into this list. Now I can run a loop and navigate to each value in the list. We have already seen how we can make a for loop. So for dollar win for each value, I'm just giving the variable name win in and that's my list. So I'm passing list one. So every time go to the go and fetch each one value in the list and store in this variable. And now for running it as of now, first of all, I'll just display. I'll just display that unique value. Let me execute. So how it's going to work. It will fetch unique value from this list means window handles, which is stored in this list and just display it. So I'll log to console. So let me execute. Browser started going to be maximized. Now new tabs get open and let me show you it's working or not. So it's passed and if you check it here, so it displays two values. So means as we have two tabs, so it is picking two unique values and printing over here. Now the next step is very similar. We can switch to the different windows by using this unique value. So before we are using title or URL, but this time we are using this unique value to switch to the different window. And once you switch, then I'm saying, Pick the URL of that. So URL is equal to, and I'm saying get location and then print it. So hope you can understand this code. I'll explain one more time what we are doing. First of all, I have fetch unique value of all the open tabs. So it will fetch two values because we have two tabs stored into the list. Now I'm running a loop for all the values in the list. So every time one value will come and store into this variable. Now we are switching to the window where the unique value is this. Now get the location of that store into the variable means pick the URL store into the variable. Display the value on the console. Before executing, one minor change I have to do because it's a list, I need to use at the rate here. Okay, now let me execute here. Browser started. Maximized, doing the task, open new tab. And let me show you, it is passed. And if I come here, it is printing two different URLs. So yes, we are able to switch to the different tabs successfully. And now once you switch, you can perform any task on that. So that's all we have for this session. Here we've seen how we can switch between the multiple tabs. Thanks for watching this video.